Thanks so much for coming here. We couldn't have picked a better venue than this. It's all framed against the splendor of Lake Tahoe, which, you know, as my mind, is probably one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's just you and me together. Today celebrates your oneness as well as your uniqueness. You chose this stunning location in Lake Tahoe, surrounded by natural beauty. And it is the simple and wild elements that you both enjoy so much together. Heather, when I was younger, I was honestly a little bit jealous of you because there was a time in my life where I felt that my connection with my brother was slipping away and I wasn't sure why. And I realized, oh wait, he has a girlfriend. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I've come to really appreciate you, Heather, and what you've done for Daniel. Oh, that's pretty. Heather, from the moment you first met Daniel at a frat party at UC Berkeley, <laughs> You thought he was cute with his long blonde hair. He locked eyes with you and pulled you over to dance with him, which you thought was a little forward. But the bold move worked. You ended up dancing for several hours and made plans to meet the next day on his birthday and went to Starbucks. And here we are today, your wedding day. You know, I've known Daniel for eight years now, and, and all I can say is he's, he's a very special person. If I was to design, if I took, you know, I went to a laboratory and I was to design an ideal partner for Heather, somebody who is kind, compassionate, sharing, uh, I'd have to invent this guy if he didn't exist. So I'm just so proud to say that Daniel is, is now my son-in-law. Now I remember a younger Daniel. He was a very awkward kid. Always really, really smart, but not necessarily the smooth uh, operator that he is now. If you look at him, clearly very handsome guy. I mean, what can I say? Okay, bring it. Oh, jeez. Oh boy, let's do it. Okay, bring it. Heather, you admire that Daniel is so dedicated to your relationship. He works hard every day to make you happy and is always willing to adapt to make your relationship better. His laugh can make a whole audience of moviegoers turn around <laughs> and you can hear it from a mile away and you love it. Do you, Daniel, take Heather as your wife to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and honor for all the days of your life. I do. <laughs> I don't know if I believe in the idea of soulmates, but I do know that Heather and Daniel are a perfect pair. They're both quiet, lovers of dogs in Disneyland, and, of course, they enjoy being vegan. Heather converted Daniel many years ago. <laughs> but Heather, I feel like you brought out the best in Daniel. I, I feel like you just bring out the most positive characteristics in my brother, the ones that I always wanted to see. And I was like, yeah, I know he can do this. I know, but he just doesn't. And now he does. Daniel. The woman whose hand you hold loves you wholeheartedly. From the moment you first met Heather, you found her to be beautiful, funny, and witty. Oh, Heather, is that you? I don't know anything about me. Wow, you look beautiful. You admire how fun Heather is. You admire her intelligence. You love that she's an independent thinker. You smile most when she laughs.
Do you, Heather, take Daniel as your husband, to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and honor for all the days of your life? I do. means a new beginning. Importantly, it means the joining of two families who will be forever united through us and our future children and already through our dogs, their grand dogs. <laughs> Thank you, Heather, for helping Daniel become the brother I always wanted him to be. I feel that my job is now more about connecting the dots and finding the magic in other people. And Daniel and Heather, you two are real magic. Mm -hmm.